Hello, how's it going guys? I hope you are doing well today. In today's video, I'm just going to go over extreme challenges and give you some tips and tricks, um, in my opinion, on what will help you pass stages. And uh, Now, before I get the video started, a couple of people have asked, um, asked me if I have a Discord server. I do not have a Discord server. However, I am in the official game Discord for Bleach Immortal, Immortal Souls. I will leave a link in the description for that Discord. I'm very active on that Discord. You can join that Discord and you can find me. Um, if you have any questions, just at me or um, DM me in Discord. Like I said, I will leave a link in the description for that Discord. Now, let's jump right into the video. Now, right now, I'm on floor 223. And I've been stuck on this floor for quite a while because the power difference is super big. Like, my team power is 258 and the opponent team power is 547. So the team power is very big. Now some characters I highly recommend using for um, extreme challenges is going to be Matsumoto. Now everybody, sh everybody should have her. She's free to play. And the reason I recommend her is because her rage attack has a chance to um, stun the enemies. And if you awaken her weapon, she gets an extra 8% chance to disorient the enemy. She's a really, really good character to stun the enemies, so it will help you out beat the battles. And also, if this is just one example, but like any war soul that has this effect, um, increase effect accuracy and effect strength. Any war soul that has increased effect accuracy, I recommend you run it on her because it will give her a higher chance to silence the enemies. Um, so yeah, another character that can do the same is going to be Mayuri. Now, Mayuri only stuns if you have his Awakened Weapon right here. If you don't have his Awakened Weapon, I would probably not bother with him because he will not stun for you. Um, well, he actually paralyzes. He does not stun. If you have Mayuri's um, Awakened Weapon, he's very good to use because he has a 28% chance to paralyze the enemies. Now, Yamamoto should be... E out on your server or he should be coming really soon on your server if you do plan to pick up Yamamoto he does also have a 10% chance to stun and he also actually increases the effect accuracy of your other characters like Matsumoto for example now let's go ahead and put them to the run let me find my Matsumoto I'm just gonna put her in front of Aizen to show you guys um, what I mean by that now if you go into extreme challenges like this stage right here is probably one of the harder stages just because there's two healers and Matsumoto. Now your first priority is going to be to kill Matsumoto. Reason being is because if she attacks you, she can um, stun, possibly stun your, your team. And it will cause you a lot of trouble. So, oh, I did not put Matsumoto. Let me go ahead and switch it real quick. But yeah, if Matsumoto attacks you and she silences your enemies, there's a very good chance you're probably going to lose the battle. So your first priority is going to be kill, it's to kill Matsumoto unless um, unless you end up silence, silencing her or stunning her with Yamamoto or anything. Now let's go ahead and use Matsumoto for example right here. As you can see right off the bat she silenced um, Rengiku and she disoriented um, Sabiske I believe his name is. Now since you silenced um, Rengiku you don't have to kill her. You can maybe kill Unahana. Now usually I prefer to kill Unahana over Orihime because like if you use your Yamamoto attack, it will deal damage to all the enemies. And if Unahana gets a chance to um, release her rage attack, she will heal every single one. So your goal is to go to get rid of Matsumoto and get... Oh, it went on auto, sorry. But yeah, your goal is going to kill Matsumoto and kill um, Unahana. Uh, say, but like for example right here, we did end up silencing Matsumoto. So it's better to just kill Unahana, but it did just go into auto, so it kind of messed it up. And then say you kill Unahana, you start the next round. Um, if you're able to attack one more time with Matsumoto, go ahead and attack with her. If she ends up silencing in Matsumoto again, then go ahead and kill Orahime. But what I would personally recommend is to keep, basically just keep leaving and joining the extreme challenge run until you get maybe like at least two or three stuns. So like I just used her attack right here. She got zero. I'm just going to leave. Sorry, my, my phone just rang. I'm just going to leave and I'm going to go again and try to get a stun or two. And your goal would probably to tr uh, would probably be to try to stun one of the front three here because you need to kill them off really quick. Um, now keep in mind, not every single stage has these three. Sometimes there is only one healer. Sometimes it's Matsumoto alone. 
But your goal is just to simply um, kill off the healers and Matsumoto, and Matsumoto being top priority. So go ahead, run Rangiko on the team, let her rage attack first round, see who she stuns. If she stuns Orahime and Unahana, then make sure to kill uh, Matsumoto. If she stuns Matsumoto, then make sure to kill Unahana. And, you know, if she stuns only Orahime, then make sure to kill, you know, um, Matsumoto. But it, it's pretty simple. Now, extreme challenges are very hard. They get harder and harder. And sometimes, like, it takes days to only go up one stage. So don't get too worried too much if you're stuck on one stage because everybody gets stuck. Like, I've been probably stuck for five days on stage 223 because I, I just simply can be, cannot beat it. But say, you know, but say you're not stuck and you just want some tips in general, then this is what this video is for. Um, you know, like I said, if you have Myri's Awakened Weapon, he's a really, really good um, uh, paralyzer. He can paralyze enemies. As you can see, he just paralyzed Orahime. But if you don't have Myri's Awakened Weapon, which is probably most of you guys, then just run Matsumoto because she has a chance to silence the enemies. And like I said, your first goal is it's going to be um, to kill Matsumoto. And then the healers. Now say, for example, like, let's look at this stage. Um, there's only two healers. Isan is a really bad healer, so you don't have to worry about her. But say, for example, your first opponent is going to it's going to kill Orahime. And yeah, that's um, pretty much it. You just want to kill the healers and um, Matsumoto. And then that should help you out big time with extreme challenges. Anyways, I hope this um, video helped you guys out. Please like and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And like I said, I will leave a link in the description for my Discord. Well, not my Discord, the official game Discord. And if you guys find me there, feel free to add me or DM me. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.